The European Union will finally take action if Iran starts supplying ballistic missiles to Russia for attacks against Ukraine. Russian espionage, propaganda and art at work. Russian war propaganda film demonstrated at Venice Film Festival. These topics are discussed in more detail in our weekly episode with me, Henry Keane, and UAT of English, doing our best to bring the hard truth in easy terms for the whole free world directly from Ukraine. The European Union will finally take action if Iran starts supplying ballistic missiles to Russia for attacks against Ukraine. This was stated today during a briefing in Brussels by the EU Foreign Service spokesman Peter Stano. The EU has been very open from the very first moment when we discovered that Iran was supplying drones to Russia that we would react. And this will be a very important factor in our relations with Iran. And we have imposed several rounds of sanctions against Iran for supplying drones. So, if it turns out that Iran is providing more military assistance for Russia's illegal actions against Ukraine, of course the European Union will react. But at this stage we will not comment on these reports, EU Foreign Service spokesman Peter Stano said. Stano also stressed that the issue of Iran ending its support for Russia has been repeatedly raised during bilateral talks. As Stano noted, the High Representative of the EU for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Josep Borrell, always and on every occasion in his contacts with Iranian colleagues, whether it is the former foreign minister, the acting foreign minister or the new foreign minister, he always raised this issue because Iran's military support for Russia's illegal actions in Ukraine is one of the very important factors that determines our relations with Iran, Stano added. My question is, so did it help? Like, raising the issue? Because as far as I heard, and it is reported that way, that Iran is preparing to transfer ballistic missiles to Russia anyway. Well, don't get me wrong, Peter Stano is right. Like strengthening ties with Russia while it is waging an aggressive war against Ukraine rounds counter to any country's goal in the long run. For example, Serbia's declared goal of joining the European Union. Looks quite strange, if you ask me, as Serbian Deputy Prime Minister Alexander Vulin and Russian President Vladimir Putin meet in Vladivostok and the Serbian official states that Serbia is Russia's ally. And I also understand what diplomacy is. All I want to know is where it ends and when actions are actually taken, not just raising an issue, but raising a hand and using a tool that will force Iran to stop supplying missiles to Russia, missiles that kill our children. As otherwise, with no action taken by Europe and the United States, Iran won't stop. It's a dictatorship. And it's billions of dollars, by the way, and Iran needs it to spend on its criminal aggression against Israel, amongst other terror deeds. And Russia needs the missiles and drones to continue its criminal aggression against Ukraine. So, what do we have here but an alliance of two criminal aggressive dictatorships? And what is the point of again and again and again trying to talk sense to them? They won't listen. They do only two things. Dictate their will upon us or not, if not allowed to.